That's that bird. It's a red bird. Listen to that. Oh, I just came out here. It is gorge. Gorge. I'm walking the mystic. Hey, and there's me. I'm walking the mistas. Listen to the birds. Oh, talk about a spring day. Oh my goodness. I got my coffee. We're all set. And oh my gosh, look at no clouds in the sky. It is lovely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a new day. I got my coffee, like I said. And <gasps> Mr. Kitty, you hear the water? Oh, he does. There he goes. He has the water going through the sub pump. Oh. But it is so nice out. Oh, can I tell you right now? I thought I was gonna need my big winter coat. Oh, well. oh my gosh. Okay, so I just said to Mr. Kitty, go see if Bear's around. And Bear lives right across there. And look at the direction he started going. Go see if Bear's awake. He might be outside, he might not, I don't know. I cannot believe this. I actually just said, it. he could've went anywhere, right? We never have gone like straight over. Go ahead, go see if Bear's awake. Maybe he's outside, Mr. Mr. Oh, good morning. Look at this animal, look at this wild beast. Oh my goodness. The birds are awake and oh, he is manly. He has to just get as dirty as possible. He finds the, the nicest, dirtiest dirt pile and he just rubs himself all around. This is like three times now, three different locations. And I, I read <clears throat> once that one of the reasons could be Mr. Manly. Oh, oh, he's trying to run. <gasps> What is that all about, Mr. Mister? Um, what was that? Um, but that they, they do that so that when they lick their fur, it's um, <clears throat> a way for them to get the minerals when they, when they clean themselves up. Look at him, he won't stop doing it. Oh, Mister, you're nice and dirty, huh? You manly, Mister? Oh, it's so beautiful out. Look at that, blue skies. Blue skies, no no clouds at all. Oh, and the mister, he's on the prowl. Look at him. He's ready. He's ready to rock and roll. Mister, what you doing? What you doing, mister, 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 mister? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but look at how nice. Oh, look at those skies. Ooh, 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 that's for you. Okay, the mister, we gotta let him explore. He's all on the sticks and he, I just gotta make sure he doesn't get tangled up, but he is a man. Oh yes, look at him. He's all rough and rugged and he, he owns, he owns the Fry family land. What do you hear? That's our favorite bird. Hear that? Listen, do you hear that bird? Listen, hear that? <whistles> Come on, he was just doing it. I don't know if you heard that. That's my favorite bird sound. There he is. Yep, it's my favorite bird sound. I think it's a chickadee. There he is. I love that. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. <gasps> Did you ever hear of the movie Anna Green Gables? Well, um... The real movie, not that sitcom. Well, anyway, in the real movie, you hear that bird all the way through. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah. So there has been a holy miracle in my life right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and thank God. Alone. 
this is the tabernacle. And this is the candle that shows that he's truly present here. as well. I love you, God. So there has been a miracle because Sarah couldn't walk. Barely. I had to go get her a walker. She couldn't walk. And I got her a wheelchair and everything and she said a prayer to God last night before she went to sleep and when she woke up she was walking beautifully so much so that she doesn't need her walker she can get up and down off things and she walked up at the stairs all the way up to her room huh. oh so this is where I always go to say a prayer for Mr. Fry even when he was alive and all the men in my life that have passed away and that are still alive and I always say Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Oh, so excited. Oh. So, it only is proper to go and say to our Lord and visit him. I mean, I know everybody's working in school, but how often is our Lord alone and no one to visit him? So, if you get that time, visit a local Catholic church, even if you're not Catholic. Just go in, sit in front of the gold box with the candle like I showed you, and just go quietly and keep him company. And that's his home, and you're invited. So I just read some of my comments on my video, and one of my viewers asked me if I could light a candle on behalf of their aunt. And you know what? They just gave me a fantastic idea that if you need a prayer request and you want to ask me to do that, I would love to pray for your, your concern. So, okay. So let's ask St. Joseph and we'll light a candle on behalf of, I think it's Trinidad on my channel. Most gracious patriarch, St. Joseph. I beg thy compassionate intercession and support in all my difficulties for this person, Trinidad, uh, and, her, and this person's aunt. I turn to thee with confidence, O powerful protector. Assist me in my present necessity with thy prayers before God that you pray, Saint Joseph, like you took care of the Holy Family. I pray that you take care of in your prayers and your love for God, Trinidad's aunt right now. And I thank you so much because I love you so much, St. Joseph and the child Jesus. Be with, be with the aunt right now and let their cells in their body respond to your wonderful care. We thank you so much, St. Joseph. We love you. So yes, of course I'll pray. That was a wonderful thing. Thank you for asking me. I was watching Jesus of Nazareth recently and you know, the, the, the gentleman came up to, I think it was one of the soldiers, came up to Jesus and said, no, you don't even have to come to my house. Just say the word and, and his soul shall be healed. You know, so just you asking me shows that you have the faith. So yes, we're in this together. And let's agree, all of us right now, that that aunt will respond beautifully to healing and health, okay?